Hello everybody, Kyle here and welcome back to a new add-on spotlight. We are going to be looking at uh, crafting add-ons this week. That's what takes us out to the busy streets of Alinor. We're going to be looking at four, well technically five different add-ons, although two of them are going to be extremely brief. First, we're going to be looking at Craft Store Fixed and Improved, followed by uh, Dolgabon's Lazy Rit Crafter, then Daily Alchemy and Daily Provisioning. Those are our two quick ones. Followed up by our final for the week, Potion Maker for Alchemy Crafting. I hope you enjoy these. These are going to make the Rit uh, process and, and, and keeping tabs on your research and game so, so much easier. Our first add-on for this week is one of my absolute recommended add-ons that you seriously cannot pass up if you want to get detailed about researching your traits on characters. This one is called Craft Store Fixed and Improved. So you're going to see in my bottom left hand of the screen here, I've got this little icon, it's a little anvil, um, and when you click on it, it brings up a, a window, and I, I believe you can hotkey this as well. However, I just I click my icon. This one, Craft Store Fixed and Improved, it kind of looks a little bit like a nightmare when you open it up. There's a lot of things going on, and when you first open it up, if you're especially new to crafting and researching, I should say, you're going to have a lot of red X's, and it's going to look a little scary. What is actually going on here is across the top, we're looking at different pieces of gear. We're looking at light pieces of gear. We're looking at medium. We're looking at heavy and shields. Then down on this column, we're looking at weapons, and we're, uh, that actually these are all weapons. Just, just these ones are the blacksmithing weapons. These are uh, we got bows and staves right here. So that's all woodworking. So when you kind of start to break it down piece by piece, you'll see it gets a little easier to understand. Down the uh, furthest left-hand column, we're looking at all the traits for those things. So if you line them up, what it's actually saying is, hey, my primary crafter, and I'll explain how we look at different people here in a second, but my primary crafter knows the powered trait on axes. He knows all the traits for axes, but he's missing training, and he's missing Nernhound. And then ultimately it's saying, hey, you know seven out of the nine possible traits for that. So it makes it really easy if you're someone that's starting to uh, work on collecting, or I'm sorry, if, if you're someone that's working on and learning all these traits, you can start creating pieces of gear. Well, what set of gear is what? Well, that's in here too. You can actually go over to this area where it says choose a set, and you'll be able to preview all the sets in the games. And you'll notice to the left of it, it actually gives the number. So that nine right there for Nocturnal's favor corresponds to the nine that is over here uh, listed under these breaches. So I could technically do light breaches in Nocturnal's favor. Not saying you should do that, but just saying I could make it for this column because he does have all the traits there. So very handy, a lot of content in a very small screen. This area is your uh, jewelry crafting as well. So you've got your necklaces and your rings there. On the far right-hand side, uh, we have actually the timers of research that are going on. So if you look at this, basically this is crafting uh, my, my, my light tailoring up here. Um, my clothing has three different items being researched. And it looks like Nern Honed on Hats is going to take another four days and five hours to complete. Uh, if we go down here, we've got our blacksmithing. I've got some items queued up here for ten hours. And it's very handy, very readily available information. And the same, as you can imagine, for uh, jewelry crafting at the bottom and woodworking here. When they are, when nothing's being researched, and you can see I've got this zero out of one, you can see there's a problem. My guy is not researching any jewelry. If I had any jewelry items, I could uh, actually go and research them. How do I know I don't have any jewelry items to research? Well, jewelry crafting's not going to be the best one for this. Let's pop up to this area. See these little, uh, these little plus marks? That's actually saying you've got an item with this trait in the bank that you could break down to research. And that is super, super handy. So you actually know when you can queue something up next. Basically, this is this add-on just changes the game for researching. But you've got to take the time to learn this grid. It's very simple once you learn it, but but there's a lot going on visually. Let's let's go further than that. In these areas, you can see uh you could look at different styles. So down here, what do they actually call this? It doesn't even have a name. It just looks like a motif book. So bottom left-hand corner motif book, uh, it opens craft store styles. And these are ones that your, your primary crafter that you have selected knows. Wow, it's like a crazy amazing add-on that includes everything you could ever want. Like, look, I know the, the Frostcaster one. I can even tell that it was a crown store purchase. I don't know Grim Harlequin, but look, I can tell it's a crown store purchase. It even tells you the uh, the, the primary uh, style material that you need for it. It's got crazy powerful features that I don't even use, but 
but they're things you might want to start using. It'll show you what furnishing recipes you know. It will show you what, what food recipes you know. Uh, it looks like what glyphs. It, it has everything you could want when it comes to crafting. And if you're looking for an add-on that is amazing at tracking recipes, motifs, etc., this is the one for you. So if we click on the character name here in uh, kind of the, the, the bottom middle-ish area, this is where you actually can select a primary crafter. And one of the things you want to do, you still get this little star next to it. So we know that's my main, my main crafting tune. When we look at this, it's showing so much detail here. This is, again, all of the items that we were researching. We looked at that a minute ago in a different pane. Um, we've got our time for our mount skill, so he, he'll be ready to train up his mount in another seven hours. Um, these are the mount trainings he already knows, so he's done with mount, uh, it looks like capacity and speed, but he's got 56 out of 60 for stamina. Sky shards collected doesn't seem to be working correctly, I don't know why it's question mark out of question mark, and the skill points question mark out of, I don't know why that doesn't work either, those two are, are uh, question marks right now. Things you want to turn on, and very important to turn these on. Track traits. You'll want to turn this on so it can actually track his traits. You'll want to turn this one on to track. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Track styles. That's very important. So when you pick up a style in the world, even if it's on your alt character, it will tell you if you're if you're main, like whoever whoever you've got this check mark on, it will tell you if they do not know the style. So you will know which ones to save and which ones to sell immediately. Same for recipes. When you're out in the world and you're picking up recipes, you will know who knows what and who does not. So, down here, just the other day, I believe this is our character we're on right now. Yep, looks like it. This is the guy. So, uh, this person right here is, is this guy. He, I just turned on, tracks some recipes. Very handy feature. Let's take a look in the bank to see what it actually functions as. Hello, Tithis. Let's see what's in the bank today. Okay, do I have any recipes in here that are not known to this character? Aha, look. Great. We got the red mark. This guy doesn't know it, and it even tells you which character doesn't know it. If you see there, there's a red X saying that my person I'm on right now does not know that recipe. Craft Store, wonderful add-on. Cannot recommend it enough. It's probably the highlight of this week. Our next add-on is Dolgabon's Lazy Writ Crafter, or as you might see it in the add-on menu, Dolgabon's Lazy Writ Creator. Just an FYI, different terms, don't know why. But anyway, uh, you're going to hear it referred to as the Lazy Writ Crafter more often. This thing is going to be such a time saver when it comes to doing writs. We're actually going to execute a couple of them right now. So immediately, you're going to notice, as soon as we go up to our boards, we're picking those writs up right away. Now, if we head over to Enchanting, you're going to see something different. This UI actually comes over from Craft Store. Whoa, barely got to see it. That's because Dolgabons finished it as soon as we got there. It knew what writ, uh, what... Uh, runes were required to be created for that writ, so it automatically did it. Anyway, this little change here is thanks to Craft Store. So, a little hangover from that one. So as we go through here, we're going to see really quickly, all of our writs are being taken care of for us. In the top right hand corner, I believe you can move it around, it might not have started in the top right, this little, this little notice. Now you're going to see here, it's saying it's crafting and we'll use X amount of Ancestor Silk for this one, but you need three more. Okay, so I know to go down here and I craft more. Great, I've got them available. Sometimes it will um, get held up a little bit. Sometimes you have to actually exit out of there and, uh, and, and restart the process. Not always, not sure why. But, uh, so for example, I usually notice it with woodworking, if I don't have enough of the item already pre-refined, it might not finish right away. If that happens to you, all you need to do is exit out of that, uh, that specific interface. You just need to exit out of blacksmithing, exit out of woodworking, and then go right back into it, and it will complete it for you. Now, one more thing we're going to do is we're going to hop on our horse, and we're going to head over to turn these bad boys in. So you'll notice we skipped two. We're actually going to talk about that in a second with our next add-ons, why uh, th this, this lazy Rick Crafter doesn't actually tackle provisioning or alchemy. One thing before we get there, though, is to pay attention that in the bottom right, and in the center of the screen, I guess I should say, it is opening all of those chests of, of supplies for us. So usually you will get containers when you turn in writs and this goes the extra step for you of actually opening them all. So very, very handy. I shouldn't have any sitting around in my inventory. I will warn you, like all great add-ons, it will sometimes glitch. They're, they may not open all the chests for you. I don't really know why. I think in that case, the add-ons got stuck on some setting, but you'll see it's just completed a ton of writs. They're still popping up across the screen. Again, Dolgabon's Lazy Writ Crafter. 
our next two quick add-ons take us right back into the heart of the crafting area. This is daily alchemy and daily provisioning. They are extremely small add-ons and they do, well, exactly that. They complete your daily uh, uh, crafting writs for alchemy and provisioning. As mentioned in our last add-ons, uh, the, the Lazy Rick Crafter did not do these two for you. I'm not totally sure why. Also, notice you're looking at a new craft store window here. This applies to both enchanting and to provisioning. Only those two. Kind of weird. I don't know exactly why certain add-ons um, in the crafting sphere only affect certain things, but they, they do, and we just live with it. Because the ones we have available are freaking amazing. So again, this one is daily provisioning. So, if I had not known the recipes, by the way, it would have told me down here in chat. But it actually says daily provisioning and what it created. So, that's wonderful. And as you can imagine, if we go over to alchemy, it's going to do the same for us. It's actually, boom, auto-crafting it for us. Done. Nice and simple. And then we just go and turn these two in. And that completes all of our writs on this character for today. Our final add-on for this week is Potion Maker for Alchemy Crafting. This is one I am not extremely familiar with. I just know that I can't live without it and really haven't lived without it. It is an overhaul to the Potion Maker interface, which... Alchemy is kind of my least favorite in the game in terms of crafting. I find it to be the most complex and it's really not a function I use very often. This is closer to the standard generic menu that comes with the game. These, these, uh, the, the furnishing one and the creation menu. However, Potion Maker adds its own two columns here towards the end. You got the Potion Maker and the Poison Maker. They function in very similar ways. Over on the left-hand column here, you're going to select your trait. So let's say I'm a magic character, so I want Restore Magica. You can take, uh, these, are, these are more negative traits. So these are things like Vulnerability and Ravage Health, things like that. Then you take the quality of, of Solvent you want. So since this guy, uh, let's see, yeah, we'll just we'll throw in this Purified Water. And uh, at this point, you can hit search and see what it knows how to make. So it's looking like we could make Elixir of Magica right here. Very, very useful add-on. Again, I don't, I don't really get under the hood with this one. I don't do enough uh, alchemy. One day, when I do, I will take more time to learn this. I just know it has been such a time saver in the little alchemy that I do. I, I, just, I couldn't help but recommend it. It's kind of a must in the, uh, the alchemy space. So I hope that you get into it. I hope you enjoy it. It has really, really helped on new tunes, especially when I needed to help uh, them through the leveling process of alchemy. Makes it nice and simple. You don't have to remember things as much. Well, that does it for this week's add-on spotlight. We just covered five awesome crafting add-ons that are really going to step up your research game, your writ game, overall going to make life a lot easier. I hope you really enjoy them. Let me know in the comments below if any of those helped you out. Next week, we've got four more add-ons we're going to tackle that are, again, related to the crafting process. Uh, we're going to lean a little bit more towards furniture next week and crafting sets of gear, so look forward to that. If you guys want to come hang out, come over to the Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv forward slash Kyle Dempster Studios. We're on there Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I have to do a huge shout out to everyone that's been coming by the channel and, and giving such positive kind words about these videos and a bigger shout out we just got twitch partnership that is massive and amazing and i i genuinely can't thank you guys enough it is just so 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 cool thank you so much to the twitch crew that keeps coming over and viewing these videos i really appreciate it it means the world to me if you ever have suggestions for other add-ons you'd like me to spotlight or check out myself please let me know either in the comments below or over on twitch happy to do it and check out the description here on youtube there we've got links to the guild, uh, anything you could imagine, guild, Twitter, uh, Twitch, all the things are there. Go look at them, as always, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube things. Uh, I love you all very much, and again, thank you guys so much for the support.